let's say that we have two variables x and y which are related somehow. For example, x could be the annual income of an individual and y could be the amount of tax due. If y is determined as a function of x, then we see that there is an explicit relationship between the variables where x determines y, or we can say that y is determined by x. An example of an explicit relationship is y equal to x squared. The important point here is that once you know the value of x, you can easily find the value of y. Since y is a function of x, we also know that given a specific value for x, there is a unique value of y that satisfy the relationship. The opposite, however, need not be true. For a given value of y, we could have several x values that will satisfy the relationship. If we make a plot of an explicit relationship where y is determined by x, we get a graph that satisfies the vertical line test. Any vertical line may intersect the graph at most one time. The graph may or may not satisfy the horizontal line test. For example, y equal to x squared will not. It intersects the horizontal line twice while y is equal to e to the x will. It will intersect the horizontal line at most one time. An explicit relationship is not the only possible relationship between two variables. We can also define what's called an implicit relationship between the variables. An implicit relationship is described using an equation where we can have a mix of both variables on both sides. For example, x squared plus y squared equal to 1 is an example of an implicit relationship. Note that in an explicit relationship where y is determined from x, we always have only the variable y on the left hand side. And we have a mathematical expression involving only x on the right hand side. In an implicit relationship, we can have a mathematical expression involving both variables on both sides. So let's say we have an implicit relationship such as x squared plus y squared equal to 1. Let's say that we know the value of one of the variables. For example, we know that x is equal to 0. Plugging x equal to 0 into the implicit relationship gives us y squared equal to 1. This is an equation that we can solve. The solution is y equal to 1 and y is equal to minus 1. This is a general principle. Given the value of one of the variables, the implicit relationship turns into an equation involving only the other variable that can be solved. For this reason, Given an implicit relationship between two variables, we see that each variable is implicitly determined by the other. There is an equation connecting them. We use the word implicit as we need to solve an equation to figure out the value of the other variable. Compare this to an explicit relationship where we can simply calculate y from x. Since each variable is implicitly determined by the other variable, we can create a graph of an implicit relationship. For example, let's say that we want to create a graph of the implicit relationship x squared plus y squared equal to 1. If we pick x equal to 0, we have y squared equal to 1, and we know that we must have y equal to 1 or y equal to minus 1. The point with the x coordinate 0 and the y coordinate 1 will satisfy the relationship, and this will be one point on our graph. Similarly, 0, minus 1 is another point on our graph. We can continue in the same fashion and try different values for x. A quicker method is to use software like Wolfram Alpha. To make a plot of the implicit relationship, we simply type plot parenthesis x squared plus y squared equal to 1, end parenthesis. As you can see, Wolfram Alpha creates an implicit plot and the plot is that of a circle. 
It's not hard to understand why the graph of this relationship is a circle. Pick any point on the plot. Then this is the x coordinate and this is the y coordinate. If I draw a straight line from the origin to the point, I get a triangle with base x and height y. By the Pythagorean theorem, the length of the hypotenuse is the square root of x squared plus y squared. Since x squared plus y squared must be equal to 1, the length of the hypotenuse is 1. All points that are at a distance 1 from the origin will satisfy the implicit relationship and they are part of the plot. This also means that all points on a circle with the radius 1 belongs to the plot. Some implicit relationships give rise to interesting plots. Consider for example x squared plus y squared the sum squared equal to x squared minus y squared. The implicit plot of this relationship is the infinity symbol. In some cases, we can convert an implicit relationship into an explicit relationship, where one variable is determined as a function of the other. Here is a simple example of an implicit relationship. 2x plus 3y equal to 6. This is an implicit relationship since we have a mix of x variables and y variables on the left hand side. If we make a plot of this relationship, we see that the implicit plot is a straight line. Since the graph satisfies both the vertical and the horizontal line test, it seems reasonable to believe that we can write this relationship explicitly, either with y as a function of x or we let x be a function of y. 2x plus 3y equal to 6 is equivalent to 3y equal to 6 minus 2x, which is equivalent to y equal to 2 minus 2x divided by 3. This is indeed a linear function with intercept 2 and slope minus 2 over 3, which is also what we see from the implicit plot. We can also turn it into an explicit relationship where x is a function of y. Solving for x, we have x equal to 3 minus 3y divided by 2. In some cases, an implicit relationship cannot be turned into an explicit one. For example, let's look again at the implicit relationship x squared plus y squared equal to 1. This cannot be turned into an explicit relationship where y is a function of x. The reason is that for most values of x, we have two solutions for y, and this is not allowed if y is a function of x. Each value of x must give us a unique value for y. It's also quite clear from the implicit plot that the relationship cannot be formulated as a function, since we are violating both the vertical line test and the horizontal line test. However, sometimes we can turn an implicit relationship into an explicit one if we limit the domain. Consider again x squared plus y squared equal to 1 and allow only x to be greater than or equal to 0 and y to be greater than or equal to 0. That is, we only allow x and y values in the first quadrant. In this case, we only have a quarter of a circle and in this case, the graph satisfies both the vertical and the horizontal line test. In this case, we can find an explicit relationship. Move x squared over to the other side and we have y squared equal to 1 minus x squared. Take the square root of both sides. Since y is positive, only the positive solution survives. And y is equal to square root of 1 minus x squared. Finally, Note that implicit relationships are more general than explicit ones. Every explicit relationship can be written as an implicit one, but the opposite is not true. Also, the graph of an implicit relationship need not satisfy the vertical line test or the horizontal line test.